Welcome to House of History. In a little-known episode of constitutional history of the United States, during the end of the 18th century, there was still a discussion about the form of government that the new country was to have. Now, a close circle of friends and influential men looking all the way to Central Europe for a possible scenario. These men allegedly attempted to place Prince Henry of Prussia, the younger brother of Frederick the Great, on the throne as king of the United States. Right, so following the United States War of Independence, a debate occurred as the United States political elite, so to say, thought a revision of the Articles of Confederation was incredibly necessary. As such, in May 1787, the Constitutional Convention came together where a new United States Constitution was discussed. It was a debate between Federalists and Anti-Federalists, but what is lesser known is that there was a supposed scheme to turn the United States into a monarchy instead of a republic. Now, already during the Civil War, Prince Henry of Prussia maintained a friendly correspondence with one of the generals of George Washington's army, Baron Friedrich Wilhelm von Steuben. During Prussia's Seven Years' War, von Steuben had served in Henry's regiment, eventually being promoted to Hofmarschall. After his service in the Prussian army, von Steuben moved to the United States and served as a general major in George Washington's army. In the United States, he wrote the famed Soldier's Blue Book, a drill manual serving as the official United States military guide until 1812. All in all, he was very well known and an influential man. Now, the actual plot as to putting Prince Henry on the American throne is shrouded in mystery and uncertainty, as there never has been any official mention of it. According to Rufus King, an American politician, there was a secret correspondence between Nathaniel Gorham, president of the Congress, and Prince Henry. In Rufus King's memorandum, he writes that Gorham invited the prince to come to the United States as king in the case of the American people agreeing to a constitution modeled after the English one. In other words, if the United States were to accept becoming a constitutional monarchy. In a letter that was discovered much later addressed to Baron von Steuben, written by Prince Henry, the prince chooses his words very carefully. From the letter itself, it is very difficult to distill the context of the letter it is a reply to, as he never hints at becoming king or accepting an offer to accept a crown. The prince does remark that he does not believe the American nation would be found ready for a change of their present republican principles of government. After all, they had just fought their war of independence against another monarch. But, the prince continues, if the American constitutional relations were to be reorganized, regard should be had to the French, the faithful allies of the United States, without whose cooperation nothing great and permanent could be created there. Reading between the lines, perhaps the prince was recommending either a French candidate or at least a candidate the French would support. It is unlikely that correspondence continued about this matter, however. Considering the dates of the letter the Prince has written above it, even before it would have arrived in America from Prussia, around 9 or 10 weeks, the convention determining the future constitution of the United States had already been assembled. And none of the delegates that attended were in favor of a monarchy. For example, Alexander Hamilton did cite the English Constitution as the best constitution ever written, but noted that the American people were Republican to their core and a monarchy would never be a possibility. When the convention decided on the title of president, Hamilton did propose that this function would be a lifetime appointment. Eventually, this proposition too was rejected because it was considered undemocratic. It does look like a monarchy, doesn't it? We will never know exactly how deep this Prussian scheme went. The letter Nathaniel Gorman sent to Prince Henry was lost and not has been rediscovered as of today. As for Baron von Steuben, he was naturalized as an American citizen in 1784. He never married, had no children, and eventually passed away in 1794 and buried at the Steuben Memorial State Historic Site. Henry of Prussia outlived his brother Frederick the Great, who passed away in 1786. He advised two subsequent kings, Frederick Wilhelm II and III, before he passed away in 1804. And as for the United States, well, you guys did get a presidency and not a king, so 
That part is pretty self-explanatory. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you check out the entire playlist of the history of Prussia if you haven't already. I would also like to thank all my patrons for their generous support. If you enjoy House of History and want to support my work, consider checking me out on Patreon. For just $1 a month, you will gain access to the exclusive Patreon series. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.